Hi y'all. How y'all doing today? It's Thursday, June the 4th. And I was off today and um, ran and uh, ran a couple errands. And my daughter took me to Juicy Crab. And um, it was okay. It was, it was, you know, it wasn't bad. Um, I just got the the shrimp and some eggs and, and sausage. And she got like the hungry meal where you get like a... Like the uh, crab legs, shrimp, potatoes, sausage, corn, eggs, which is a really good price, like 30, 30, 32, 33 dollars, something like that. And so, um, I really didn't want any um, crab legs. I just really wanted me some shrimp and um, boiled some eggs. And the corn was really, really good. I just wish it was a little bit bigger, um, but. That was the smallest corn that I've ever seen um, in a restaurant as far as like with a crab ball or something like that, seafood, whatever, but it was good. I got the, the very mild, I got their signature sauce, very mild, and um, it was really good. Then we went to the mall and found a couple of things at Dillard's and um, I'll be sharing it with you guys. Um, a little later on in the week um, it's really good and then we went to uh, let's see where else did we go girl don't start me to lie it's, it was hot though I know that it was hot y'all don't pay me no mind did laundry and um, <clears throat> didn't fold up the clothes. So, uh, but yeah, so we had a pretty good day and stopped a along a couple other places and picked up some things. And just wanted to ask you guys' opinion on, you know, everything that's going on with the protesting and everything. I think that it's good that they upgraded the charges to, you know, second degree. However, I'm just looking to see if they're going to be convicted. You know, it's, it's one thing to be charged and it's another to be actually convicted, you know, of the crime. So I just wanna see how that's going to play out. And um, I'm just following, you know, along with everybody else. I do think that all lives matter. However, right now, it's mainly black lives because, you know, we are the ones who have been discriminated against since time, you know, racially profiled, unequal pay, uh, job opportunities, housing, income, you name it, you know. We always are the last man on the totem pole. However, we help to make this country what it is, you know. And so, um, I just think for the people who are saying that all lives matter, yes, all lives do matter. But being that you're not of a brown skin, it's, it's a whole different situation for us than it is for you. And just with the basic of things, you know, like I said, like housing, pay, um, you know, just just treatment better, you know, they treat animals better than they treat us, you know. So, yeah, um, and I know that's a sensitive subject for a lot of people, and it should. It should because it's time that we take a break from ignoring and turn a blind eye and, oh, well, as long as it's not happening to me, well, it may not be directly happening to you but it's going to indirectly affect you so um yeah so i'm i'm watching i'm having a lot of sleepless nights you know because i'm constantly watching cnn and everything that's going on with this president and his antics and you know things like that 
if this doesn't drive you to the polls in November, I don't know what would. Because it's, it's just blatantly in your face. And I don't care what you think, how you feel. This is how we feel, you know. So this definitely should be a catalyst for everyone to go out and vote. If you never voted before or, or you never had an interest in voting, this would be the time to do that. Um, because it's, it's, if not, things are only going to get worse. As they say, they, it has to get bad before it gets worse. And um, I think it's pretty bad right now. Um, but I didn't come on here to, you know, hold you guys up. Just wanted to see how everybody's doing and um, see what you guys think about, you know, the charges, which, like I said, they're good that they were upgraded. I'm just looking to see if those charges are actual, uh, are going to be what they're convicted of or would it be a higher um, I've heard some people say it can't be first degree because it was it wasn't premeditated but I have been informed that premeditation doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have thought about it you know months and days and weeks in advance you know what I'm saying like it could just happen right then um, I don't know. I'm not a legal analyst or, or anything like that. So that was just my understanding of it. I could be wrong. It's just my opinion. And hey, that's just what it is, an opinion. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know how you guys are doing. And um, I will have a haul video coming out probably at the end of the week. Well, it's already Thursday. So um, maybe Sunday. I will have a, uh, my haul video out to kind of let you guys see some of the stuff that I picked up. And, um, yeah, and tell me what you guys think. I can't really show you my, well, maybe I can't show you. This is my outfit of the day, if you can kind of see it a little bit. But, yeah, and I got my head wrap on. So, yeah. That's all. I just wanted to come and say, hey, see how everybody's doing. And um, you guys stay safe and continue, you know, to share the movement. And this is not just a one-time thing. This is going to be forever because it's not only about George Floyd. It's about all of us because it could have been any one of us. You know, our brothers, our dads, our son, our husbands, uncles. It could have been one of us, us women. So um, just let this be a catalyst to realize that racism has not gone anywhere. It's still alive and well. And since Trump has been in office, he has just made it to where it's okay to not hide how you really feel, you know, and, and, and you can forsake your career, your marriage, your uh, family and friends on a social media rant on something that you truly feel that could destroy your whole life. Um, look at the Central Park Karens. You know, now we are more vigilant. We are more sensitive. Before, we may have been desensitized, but now it has awakened something in us, and, and we're no longer going to stand for it. No longer will we allow you to just do and say whatever. And that's just not with police. That's, I think that is a catalyst for anyone of color to stand up and say, no, I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to take it. Not necessarily police brutality, but discrimination in the jobs and the housing, you know, just straight across the board. You know, this has really brought some awareness as, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take it. You know, I'm, I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm, I won't stand for it. And so I just encourage 
you guys to get out and vote. And the young people, oh my God, the young people, wow, you guys rock. Keep up the good work, be safe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day.